Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to be going over a really cool way on how you can get your sites designed in FlowTrack. Now, the things that I'm going to show you today don't just apply to designing your website. This actually applies to everything in business. And I actually use this strategy a lot in business. So let me go ahead and explain what this is. So this strategy I call the spray and pray method. And you've probably heard of this before, but like I said, I apply this to so many different things in business. And this really is all about increasing the, the times at bat that you get, right? So increasing the odds of success and increasing the speed that you do things in your business. And so let's go ahead and apply this to web design. Right. So with web design, you may go out there and you may say, you know what, I want a professional to help design my website. I'm going to go on Fiverr and we're going to find someone to, to design this. So I start searching for web designers. I see a bunch on here, even as low as five dollars, ten dollars for a design. Right. And I can. All right. Like I say, I'm going to I'm going to invest in that. I'm going to get this site designed. But, you know, maybe you're not happy with it. Right. Maybe it takes a week to get the site designed. You go through the whole week at the end of the process. You're know, like, I don't like it. And so now you're kind of starting over back at the beginning. So the spray and pray method is really about just picking like five of these options, going with all five at the same time, knowing that you're probably only going to use one. And that's OK. That is completely OK. Right. So it's just opening up the number of options that you have in your business uh, to get this going. So that is the spray and pray method. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I've used this for many different things. I've used this to, to launch multi-million dollar businesses um, and, and even do SEO. Right. Think about it this way. You may get a, uh, a website that you want to rank in Google. And you can rank just one website and then you're like all in, you know, you either rank or you don't um, or you can get, you know, five websites, eight websites and have them all be a little bit different, have different SEO people on each one. And then you really increase your odds of success. So let's dive in and let me show you what I look for for a good uh, web designer on Fiverr. And I see we got our first comment on here. Good afternoon. So I want to say good afternoon to you as well. And as always, if you guys got any questions or comments, drop them into the chat. We're going to be going over these at the end of the call and we'll go ahead and hit the ground running. So first of all, when you're going into a site like Fiverr, you know, you really want to, uh, there's really two types of web designers or people that you're going to need when you're designing a website. The first one is the artist. The artist is the person that's going to be doing, you know, all the graphical stuff in there, uh, the stuff that I'm horrible at, right? So someone that has the artistic touch, they can go in there and design these beautiful sites uh, from scratch. And so this artist is uh, really what we call the designer. And the designer is going to be someone that works in a tool like Figma or a tool like Photoshop. So when I look for the artist, I actually just search for Figma. Right. So when I find a person that's good with Figma, um, I'm going to find the artist. So that's what I did here. And I just put in budget, you know, max ten dollars. Right. So I'm going to see, um, you know, you got over three thousand options on here. People that can design a, a site in Figma for ten dollars. And so let's just go ahead and pick some of these right here. And so the spray and pray method, I'm really I'm just looking at the number of reviews and the title that they got. Um, you know, you don't have to put a ton of thought into this. I like this image right here. I'm going to pick this guy. So I'm going to open him up in a new tab. You know, I like uh, this site right here. He has 5.0 for reviews. I'm going to pick that guy. Um, let's see, pick some other ones down here. This guy has a cool image. I'm going to pick him. He's $5. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> That's really... Can't go wrong with that. So this guy has a cool image. I like that site. Uh, he's $10. I'm going to pick that one. All right. So I got four designers right here. This guy will do a one page website for $5. He's got some sample images here of his work. And that one looks pretty good. Now on the next guy I opened up in a new tab. Uh, this guy is $10 and uh, do a single page website. Got some really cool examples. You know, everyone has their own style and what they look for on a website. I think these look cool. You may think they look not uh, not cool, but you can come in and pick the designer that has the, the style that you're looking for. I like a little bit more of that like modern 
clean look um, and um, actually don't like this one. So I'm going to close that guy. Um, and so now we got number three. Uh, this one looks pretty modern and clean too. I like that as well. Um, you know what? So now that I narrowed it down to three, let's go ahead and pick one more. All right. So keep going down the list. This one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, all right, so we got four different designers on here and we're going to start ordering these jobs and getting a website design. So we actually had a poll in the community uh, the other day and this was a poll to see who wants to get their website design. So we're actually going to be picking someone from the community right now and we're going to be, uh, you know, getting a website design for them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and pull that up. Uh, I got to find out what tab this is in and we'll go ahead and get that going. So let's see, I'm pulling up the comments right here and we're just going to go ahead and pick someone that voted in the comments. Um, let's see, this is the post from earlier in the month. We got 16 people in there that asked for this. So we got... Uh, Let's see, just opening up their sites now. All right, so we got this guy, uh, creativesynergymarketing.com. Uh, that's the one we're going to pick today. He's going to be the winner of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just put his site up here on the screen for everyone to see. He was one of the guys that posted in the uh, comments. He wanted to get his site um, moved over to flow track and redesigned. So this is the site that we're going to be going with and ordering, um, on, on fiber. Um, so this site right here, um, you know, obviously has a, uh, a structure that you could carry over. So you got, you know, text on the left, the image on the right. Um, and you kind of got that, that repeating down here and then the three different columns. So what I would do right here is I'm going to say, I'm going to message this designer and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I really like this website here. This one looks cool. Design a website with this look and feel, but with this text, right? And so that's going to give the designer a good direction on where they want to go and get this site done. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll go ahead and uh, pause this share for a moment. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat. I'm just going to be ordering these really quick and sending this guy uh, quick instructions and we'll go from there. So one second, I'll remove this screen and now I'm on here. So uh, shoot away on the questions, guys. And I'm watching the chat multitasking as we do this. So <laughs> we're actually ordering these sites live as we go. This first one says he's going to deliver in three days. Uh, so we're going to get that on here and we're just plugging in the uh, billing details, which is why I chose not to share the screen right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this one plugged in. Uh, perfect. Um, All right, the first one is down. This is a $7 charge for the site. That is good. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So let's do this. I'm gonna continue for the next one, which is a $10 charge. After the, the uh, service fees from Fiverr it comes out to $12. So I'm ordering that, just a click. Now we're going on to the next one. $10, which is $12 after their fees. So we're going to go ahead and dive in to that as well. Confirm and pay and confirm and pay. So, all right. So we just got four new orders in here and I'm going to share my screen again. We're going to dive back in. All right. So this is the orders that we just did. <laughs> so I want to say congratulations to Creative Synergies. Uh, we're going to get your new site design and the whole world is watching. So let's dive in. So we got these uh, 
Uh, it says, let's get started. You got to submit your requirements. So after you submit your order, you're going to come to this page that, um, you know, really just gives them some instructions. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the link to the website that the person currently has. Now, if you don't have a website already, just go ahead and type up the content that you want. I mean, even if you're using Microsoft Word or even if you're using Microsoft Paint, right? As long as you have something, they need to know kind of the direction that you're going. Like you can draw a stick figure of a person on the right and just put some text on the left, right? The designer just needs some sort of creative direction on where to go to get your site designed. Um, so, you know, whatever tool you use, just make sure that they can, uh, they get some direction. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, hey, I love your uh, sample designs. Sample designs, please make one like samples, but with this layout and text and the picture of the man. All right, there we go. That's instructions. This is spray and pray. They might come back with some additional questions or details. That's okay. Now I'm gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna copy and paste that. Boom. I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna copy and paste that again. Start order. And this one, submit requirements. I'm gonna copy and paste this in here too. So um, we got the uh, three different ones in here. Uh, I think it was four. I don't know what I missed the, the other one, but uh, we got four different orders in here that we're getting designed right now. So I'm going to just wait on this. You know, these guys typically have around a, a three day turnaround time. So um, you're just gonna sit in here and monitor the messages that you're getting from these guys when you get it. Just go ahead and respond. Now, in one of the next videos we're gonna be doing, we're gonna wait till we get these results. We're gonna actually open up the results and critique them uh, on the live stream. And then we're gonna be showing you how you can do the second part, which is get your design translated from Figma into FlowTrack, right? And so that requires a different skill set. Um, this is something that I've done personally in the past. You know, a lot of times when you get a website designed in a tool like Figma, you can just export the images and drag and drop them into FlowTrack, but it's a lot easier to just, you know, have someone else do it too. So we're going to get someone else uh, on Fiverr on a budget to go in and, you know, get these websites designed for us. So now that we got these designers off to the races, I'm going to go in and start uh, going over some of the co uh, comments. So we got Ryan in here that says, hello. So hello back at you. I appreciate you joining today. Um, and, you know, my pleasure. I see we got some people saying thanks for having these live events anytime. This is what we're all about. We want everyone to be as successful as possible in FlowTrack. So if you guys have other topics of these that you want to see, let us know and we'll, we'll get this in here. Now, the great thing is, is we're going to put these templates inside FlowTrack too. So these, these templates that we're getting designed are going to be available in the FlowTrack system, and we're going to keep building up that template library, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, another person says, great strategy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can apply this spray and pray strategy to everything in business. You know, increase your odds of success. Um, and uh, if you guys don't have any more questions, that is all for today. So I'm going to keep this video pretty short. You know, keep in mind this whole process, spray and pray, took us about maybe three minutes of the actual ordering of the, of the site. So don't overthink it. Just jump in there. Um, start, start getting these, uh, getting these designed. Um, then we got Andy that j jumped in and asked a question. So after the design is done, can you show us how to connect their domain? Absolutely. We're going to do this from end to end, right? We got the designer. We're going to get the design put in flow track. We're going to publish it on our domain. So we're going to get everything that you need to go, uh, everything that you need to know. So hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday and I'll talk soon in the next video. Thanks.